Awesome. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the most epic blind tasting challenge to go down in society history. Tonight, uh, it's going to be Scott versus Ben while they blind taste five samples that I have hand chosen uh, to drive them absolutely insane and really test their skills. And so um, we'll explain how it all works and all of that good stuff. But we're so excited all of you are here joining us tonight uh, back on the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society channel. Um, this is probably the coolest place on the whiskey internet. So we are thrilled to have you all here. And so with all of that being said, I'm going to bring in our competitors. They are backstage warming up. Um, I think I saw Scott doing some push-ups and Ben was running around the room. So I think they're super hyped for this. And so um, hailing from Wichita, I'm going to bring in our first competitor and that would be Mr. Scott Bruno. Scott, how you feeling, bud? Like a Rocky Balboa, man. Just ready. Oh, God. You're ready. Ooh. You're ready. How you how are you feeling about this tonight? You think you're going right. to you think you're going to crush Ben? I'll, I'll talk a lot of smack. And I don't know what the final outcome will be, but yeah, I think Ben's going down. All right. All right. Well, with that, from Nashville, Tennessee, I'm going to bring in our final competitor, Mr. Uh, ben Diedrich. Ben, how are you feeling? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I heard everything you said, Scott, while I was backstage, and I don't like <laughs> <laughs> And as I said before we went live, you know, I, this is a friendly thing until Jenna put up that Instagram poll. <laughs> Asking everybody to, to comment or choose a side. Basically, I haven't seen the results for it's been like 30 minutes. But last I saw, Scott, you had like 80% of the vote and I had 20%. So now I'm here. And people have a lot of faith in me. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm not picking sides, but I will say that... Uh, uh, you know, Ben, Ben's a sleeper. I, I've seen I him in action mm -hmm. when it comes to nosing and tasting things. So, I mean, I'm just saying, but, uh, for everyone out there who is watching Scott and Ben cannot see the comments. And so, um, I will be reading off all of your comments. We did put a link to a Google doc at the very top of the chat. That is where all the answers live. So if anyone text or, uh, messages or any of that, the, the competitors, then you're going to be in some big trouble. Uh, no whiskey for you for a whole year. Um, and I personally, because, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little evil in this. Um, I want to know who you all have your money on. So in the comments, please do let me know who you think will reign supreme here. Do you think it's going to be, you know, team Wichita's or going to be team Nashville? Uh, I, oh, uh, Wes, Wes Jolly says Scott is the Wichita Wrangler. <laughs> so that's that's I guess your wrestling name for tonight. And uh uh Ben Taylor actually said Ben might be good, but is he as good as Ben the whiskey geek? I don't know. It's mm. it's looking mm. it's looking pretty half and half so far. There are definitely some for Ben and there are some for Scott. So I think it's a it's a pretty pretty split wow. room here. It's split shocking yeah. considering we're on Scott's home turf of YouTube. Um you know. <laughs> I, I think so, I, it, it's going to be humbling. I'll tell you that much. I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we. So, yeah, yeah. so, how this is all going to work is again, they all have five samples in front of them. Um, they are color coded uh, with a little sticker. They're still wrapped. They have not opened these, they have not had time to, you know, study them, anything like that. These are going to be fresh opens. They have no idea what it is they're drinking. And, um, I, when I picked these, these samples, I kind of did the eyes closed and, and picked things and I was pretty happy with the selection. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a tough one. So, um, how it's going to work is, um, each, each round, basically, we're going to have them guess the age, the distillery, the cask type, the region and the flavor profile. And at the end, we'll add up the score for all five rounds and we will see who gets to walk away with the bragging rights of being the society's top blind taster of the two of us i mean you could you could probably be up there in the all the titles as well but <laughs> i don't know how this would be if the three of us were talking a few weeks ago we're like oh it's national scotch day let's do something fun let's not just talk about new releases yeah. and somehow we like, like, agreed that scott and i would go head to head and we're both like okay sure yeah right, woke it's up this morning and scott i sent you that selfie which is now in the thumbnail the the, the officially the worst photograph of myself i've ever taken and i 
Um, I'm just, so I just feel good. like yeah, really competitive right now. It looks good though, doesn't it? It's a good look. It's just, I mean, yeah. it's like one of those filters that you have where you just like on Instagram where you can see yourself in 40 years and this is what you look like. <laughs> and you can, it's funny because you actually look the same in yours. And just, <laughs> yeah, you guys do look very serious and menacing. That um, definitely like, you know, gave, gave some feels. But uh, I just, I wanted to just say hi to everybody really quick before we dive into this and give you guys time to like kind of find yeah. Your inner self and prepare for this. Go ahead, go um, ahead and open the first one. Go ahead and open the first one and pour. Yeah, ready? yeah. So go go ahead and open the first one. The first one is going to be the color yellow, um, the yellow sticker. So uh, while you guys are doing that, I just want to say hi to Scott Friedland. Uh, he said, "To the death, those are high stakes." And <laughs> Northwoods Whiskey Nerds. Uh, we have Bird Dog Twenty Seventeen here and Big Dog and John Colings here. Um, we have Sean Spaeth and Drew Bills. Uh, West Jolly says Ben already looks like he's been in a fight. Um, <laughs> Thanks, um, and yeah, oh, so, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a, we have a good group. Adam Clary's here. Um, so he asked, what is the prize for the winner? And it is, it is bragging rights, pure bragging rights. Um, Unless somebody else's suggestion. I mean, we can, we yeah. If What's you have a suggestion winner? as maybe what the winner or the loser should receive, uh, please let us know in, in the comments below. Um, and Warren Buff says, my money is on Jenna's selections, defeating both challengers. <laughs> yep, that could happen. Uh, uh, my money's on that as well. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, Ooh, yeah. I'm, well, I'm yeah, in the... This, so. Just commenting about the uh, the battle of wits to the death. I have spent seven years developing a immunity to iocane powder. If anybody knows what movie that's from, you got you got me on that one. Oh, so how much time should we take? Should we? So man, but first of all, it's it sucks on people to see the comments. I feel so like out of the loop. But um, <laughs> we could take a few minutes to ourselves. And uh, was there a time limit we should take for each one? What do you think? Yeah. So, I mean, I would probably take no more than, mm, what, what do you think is fair? Like five-ish minutes? Five I was going to say about 10 probably per each one, but let's, I guess we can nose it and taste it and just kind of see how we progress along. Yeah. Yeah. No pressure. Well, cheers then. I'm going to get in on the palate. Oh, yeah. Happy, Everybody happy knew happy it was Princess Scotch Bride. Ah. <laughs> yes. Happy National Scotch Day. That's I'm not drinking the same whiskey as you all, but... This is really nice. I mean, it's like a whiskey. I know we're not. All right. I did. I did. I did. You know. Mm. I did try to be kind to you. So everybody has the answers, right? Like they've got the link. They can go see them. They they can go look and. Cool. You cannot. Is there any bourbon in this lineup? Can <laughs> <laughs> we establish that it's, is it all malt whiskey? I don't know. Oh, great. Okay. All right. I'm I can't say anything. I will tell you nothing. I will tell you it's not the whiskey that I'm drinking. How about that? That's the only clue I'm going to give you. And for this special occasion, because this is a pretty epic battle, I'm having cask 26.151. Fragrance clings to the hand that gives flowers. So 26 year little... Island Beauty. Should we, can, should we, Scott, like share our just not our answers, but just like impressions? I, I mean, know. you don't want to persuade. I mean, maybe you yeah, do want to try and persuade the other. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that would be it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, I was just to say, man, whatever this is, and if you, if everybody who can see the answer, there's a beautiful whiskey just on the aroma alone. There's Joshua K says ten minutes for each. The bourbon junkies would call that amateur hour. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the tough one is a flavor profile too we have to guess that one because i've got this yeah. one i already got this one down <laughs> I knew it. you got you have answers for all five no i knew this the flavor profile on this one jumped right out oh wow i was like damn okay, we'll see if i'm right but that was the first thing i wrote down on my board here so I've got All a board right. I'm going to put right. my stuff down on. All so right. we get we get one point for each. Just to make yes. sure. One point for each. 
Now on the cask, which is one of the five um, Correct. qualifiers. So if it's a double matured one, potentially there's, we would get one half point for each. Correct. So if something was in bourbon and then sherry, we get one, one for each. Correct. And then yes. for age, what do we decide? Scott, so if so you for get age, deviation of one. Yes. So for age, um, if either of you get the exact age correctly, you get the point. Um, but let's say the both of you don't guess the exact age, but you're within a year younger or within a year older of the whiskey, you would each get a point for that um, if you're within a year yeah. on either plus, side. Plus or minus one on the year, unless yeah. one of us gets it right. Exactly. So yeah, just uh, again, how we're going to kind of keep score here is there are five different things that they're trying to guess, five different categories, um, age, distillery, cask type, region, and flavor profile. They get a point for each that they get correct. And at the end, we'll tally up the score at the end of the five rounds. Um, and for age, if they have to get either plus or minus one year, um, or they have to guess the year exactly. And if somebody guessed the year exactly, they get that point. I just realized I could be off on my flavor profile. This, could be, my this is one of two. <laughs> and I just changed my answer. Uh, oh my I'm, going with my I'm going with my original guess. Scott, Scott, you do uh, just to confirm. So, I mean, Jenna, these whiskeys you've chosen are not like recent releases necessarily. It's just any society whiskey from your own. Any society whiskeys okay. that have been in this, that are in this collection here behind me. And that was one of the questions that we had is, have they taste, have you all tasted all of these whiskeys before? And I was well, like, maybe yeah. they have tasted some, maybe they haven't. I don't know. I was going to say, it's more like that Scott has tasted it if it's more recent, like within the last year. Sure. But, you know. But and still, that, well, even... and that's, what, that's what we talked about at first was kind of the parameters. What would we want? And we just said, hey, just gin a randomly select five whiskeys. And that's what I did. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, no yeah. parameters. So, so I think it's an even playing field in that sense. Like, you know. oh yeah, for sure. And even if, I mean, honestly, there was one whiskey in this whole collection that I purposely didn't choose because I think you guys would have both guessed it. It was just that weird and unique, um, and that's why I didn't choose it because I was like, that's a dead giveaway. But really, even if I had given you all things that we had tasted within the last month, it still would be incredibly difficult. This is a really nice whiskey, by the way. It is. Yeah, this is a nice. I really, whiskey. really like this. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping like, man, I hope I have this bottle at home. Behind <laughs> you might. <laughs> well, this, this is where it's tough because like we know, you know, we do see the whiskeys coming out more so than obviously everybody in chat, but um, you probably can be a little biased when you start to think of like, what's out there this age this distillery this profile i i'm a little clueless with a i think i'm oh good I've got, my, I've got my five points down I can, go, I can go right now too i'm like reading the comments and i can't say them to you all but they're hilarious <laughs> Can you, oh, are gosh. they like giving okay. away the answers or yeah 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 oh, okay, okay, some okay. of them are but it's just really funny so um all right so we're ready to guess on the first one you have yeah. a, you, oh, you have a board to share i just have a piece of paper i've got my five written down here i'll just go okay. all right here. let's 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 go scott all right, all right i think so. it's sweet fruity and mellow profile yeah okay it's a 15 year old okay guess on distillery number nine Okay. X bourbon. Okay. And then I couldn't remember if, if a nine is a space side or a Highlander. So I went with space side. All right. And then Ben, what you got? I just realized I haven't added water and tasted, but um, <laughs> whatever. L learning, you know, learning, learning curve here. You can't see my sheet, can you? I can't see yours, but you can just read it. I went, I went 14 years. Okay. Ooh. Um, What's the next thing you need? Um, you can give me a flavor profile. I did sweet fruity mellow also. I was going to go okay. spice and sweet, but I chose kind of at the end. And the second sip is uh, sweet fruity mellow. Space okay. side. Yeah. Um, I did cask. I did. I think this one could be double matured. So I'm guessing okay. here. 
uh, bourbon hogshead initial maturation and then like a year or two in PX sherry. First okay. fill American oak PX sherry. Uh, okay. And I guessed uh, distillery 35, Glenn Murray. Oh. All right. Wow. Kind of sim- we had some similar so similar choices there, Scott. Like because our age. I do like your P- I do like your PX there. I can almost see that now. Well, and the the color and this it's pretty subtle. I actually thought it was like a, I was going. Let me just say this before you really answer. I was going yeah, yeah. with like a French oak mm. first. I thought maybe a little French oak could be like a white wine. Good. Like a salt turn, but I think I think PX huh. is where I'm going. I didn't think All about right. the color. I should have looked at the color. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm tallying oh. up some points here. <laughs> real quick, I hate, I hate not being able to see the comments. By the so, way. Hey, real quick, too, everybody that's watching, remember you have until midnight tonight, uh, Pacific time, to use our Scotch Day 2022 uh, discount code during checkout and get $25 off of your order. <laughs> Scott is so confident in his game right now that he can switch to salesman mode and just like be <laughs> completely <laughs> crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are are we ready? Uh, yes. All right. So this. No way, dude. It's a red <laughs> This is cask 7.244 Abracadabra. I almost guessed seven. This, that was my next. This, Dang it. Yep. This was for our global gathering a few years ago. Um, and this is a 15 year space side. Nice. Second fill X bourbon barrels and then first fill X Pedro Jimenez butt. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. So, Ben, you get the points for cask and region. That's it. And Scott gets the point for age and region. So, you each have two points so far. As long as I'm still in the fight. Still in the fight, baby. So it's tied. <laughs> Do you want me to update the uh, scoreboard? I'm happy I got it. Okay, yeah, cool. I got it. Yeah, I don't want to touch anything like excellently. Nope, nope. I got it. I got it. Cool. All right. So first round, we are tied. Um, which I mean, well done, guys. Wait, can you feel that bottle again? I'm sorry. I, what, what? Which one is? What's the name? Number name? Abracadabra. Oh, that was the gathering last year. Uh, I think two years ago. Okay, I never got a bottle of that. Yeah. Really, I've not changed, really, I've really, not changed really. my distillery to number seven just on a whim, but I thought, nope, don't change it. I had nine in there yeah, and I yeah. went with it. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, yeah. You gotta, go with your, gotta go with your gut. Man, the deep rich <laughs> and dried fruits. I would. I know, and and some of the pe- people said, uh, somebody, and I gotta go back and see who said it exactly, but they'll be like, if Scott doesn't get dirt, if mm. yeah, <laughs> let's really just, like, everybody I mean, for a- the record, Scott, dirt if dirt if Bruno over here, guess exactly for the sherry, mm. yeah. It's a, it is a very oh, yeah, light. I did like as soon as you said PX, I could almost see it and taste well, it. But it's very light. It's a very light finish on there. But does Scott not get a half a point for getting bourbon? What did you say, bourbon the whole time? I would. He said. I might say X bourbon. I, I might say yes, but you were so right with your guess. I'll forfeit that. Okay, so just so okay, so we're on the same page. So like the, just like yeah. for age, we said you get a one year deviation, but if somebody gets it. They claim the point. Exactly. We'll do the same with the cask. If it's two casts, if someone gets exactly. both. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. That was fun. Man, yeah. this is so, the whiskey's so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Duke McHale said, I couldn't believe Scott didn't pick up the PX. <laughs> it's hard. Cool. It's so tough. I, yeah, Wine I, tasting is so tough. That was, my, um, that was my first one, too. And I should have wetted my palate beforehand with a little whiskey, just to, and I didn't. So, yeah, you've yeah, been doing that sourdough bread. I, I remember judging a, a spirits competition where everything was blind and we didn't get to see what we chose until the very end. And I remember going back and being like, are you effing kidding me? Like, that's what I, that was it. Like, it's so crazy to do things, you know, blind. It really just take away everything you think, you know, or uh, that's like preconceived. It's, it is tough. So well done, guys. Yeah, orange, orange is the next We're on one. Orange. Right? Yep. Yeah, orange, yep. Orange is the second one. Oh man. <laughs> this is this is a bit more difficult, I think. <laughs> we only got two of the five. I'm I'm glad. Don't I put too much. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, I, I think that's that is. I think that's great. And don't put too much pressure on yourself. 
I, I I don't think I'm putting too much pressure on myself. I'm I'm just thinking um the fact that 80% of people on your Instagram poll said that they're on Team Scott. <laughs> it's not about pressure, it's just about like absolute, you know. It was it was only like seven people. I, I know that's true. <laughs> yeah, except for they were like our closest friends too. The people I thought were my think- closest friends. It's okay. Scott probably text everyone was like, guys, go vote for me. <laughs> should we d- never mind? I don't want to overcomplicate. I would say, should we throw out ABV just not for a point, but for fun? Mm. Um, I don't know. Yeah, go for it. One, one I thought to. was a little bit lower. That's why I went with a little bit. And I almost bumped my age up. I started at the 15 year. I almost bumped it to 18 because the ABV seemed quite a bit lower. I would say it's 54% on that one. It's, Wait, well, ben, have a guess, ben? I'm going to guess it. I'm going to guess it's higher. 57. 59.4. Woo, wow. Is those, is the, yeah. 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 I, that was a total random guess. <laughs> oh, I'm really, really like. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is it all whiskey though? Is it all? Is, I, w- is I would it all hope. Whiskey? Yeah. It is. It is all whiskey. Okay. I just want to no make sure. Yaks, I want to at least no establish that. Yeah. All whiskey. Missed my mouth on on that one. Ooh, there's a lot of concentration happening right now. I think this is this is either a tough one or an obvious one. Um, so it will be really interesting to see what you guys both say about this whiskey. Tom R says that I broke his heart by not including a rum in the mix. I know, <laughs> but that's. That's why, that I, that's why I asked if there was <laughs> other spirits potentially. There you go. No, it is all whiskey. <laughs> well, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to refill my glass. <laughs> Yes, concentration intensifies. You are correct. I'm like, I'm feeling. Should we play some music? <laughs> the pressure over here. I know, right? <laughs> no, seriously. Should, right. should we do the. Um... I haven't had this in a while. All right. Well, while they're doing this, I'm on cask 4.278 by the beautiful sea. If anybody has this one, 13 year and ex bourbon and ex bourbon barrel. This is a good one, too. Man, I mean, this This is totally unique. (laughs) That that first whiskey was good. This one is so good. This is so unique. Yeah. This one's tough. This is, like I said, it's either going to be like blatantly obvious or super tough. So for those of you who have seen what the answer is, um, I'd love to know if you think that this is on paper a tough one or one that should be pretty easy. I'm ready. I mean, I I feel like I could like overthink this one at death. You know, this can go in so many different directions. All right. All right. All right, you want to go first this time? Can I go first? Okay, so yeah, yeah, um, go for it. flavor profile. Flavor profile. I, <laughs> I'm going sweet, fruity, and mellow, which is the okay. dark, the the pink one. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it's a, a Highland. Okay. Of twelve years old. 
Okay. That were also double matured in a combination okay. of an ex bourbon and a fresh rum barrel, Ooh. preferably like probably like a Jamaican rum, um, okay. from the Lo Loch Lomond Distillery. That's All my right. guess. <laughs> All righty. So I, it can be like on on that one, or just like totally off, you know. All right, Scott, what you got? I went out on a limb on this one as well, but sweet, fruity, and mellow. Double okay. maturation, ex bourbon, ex white wine, barrique, mm. 13 year lowland distillery number five. All right. That's interesting. Uh, white wine. All right. Let me tally up these points here. I almost, I almost read rum too after well, there, are Tom points, there are some points, but I got... thought, uh, it like if there are any, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> when uh, when she brought up Tom R's comment about the rum, I almost thought that too. But then I thought that oh, was just suggest just the power of suggestion there. So I stuck with my ex white wine barrique on that. Well, I, I this would be funny if I'm totally off, but like I thought the rum cask influence is so dominant. That's why I asked. Pretty, I was like, wait, is this a rum? Yeah. You know, you know. So it would be funny if it's totally not a rum, and it very well could not be. I think it's it's obvious it is a double cask maturation, so it is yeah. a, a rum or a wine barrique of some sort there. But yeah, I could see rum. But, but there's also like, I didn't want to switch because I thought it's just the power of suggestion. Once I heard rum, yeah. it's very tropical. So I'm, I didn't. Have, this is one that wasn't a question, but I'm like tempted to say it's a single grain whiskey too. That that's not specified in like our you know one of our point in our point system. But I would I would even guess that it was a single grain whiskey and rum. It could be malt, but if it was single grain, it'll be a lot older it does have a lot of the mm, like it could well unless if it, i'm i'm listen she'll tell us if it's like Mormon, it could be um like uh ros which is which would be malt through a column still which is considered a single grain because it's not pot still but yeah either way but but it's just like i i don't know tell us just hey give us the point totals first here who got who got what points <laughs> scott got one and a half points Oh. And Ben got half a point. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's at least a rum cast. <laughs> um, so let me update our little ticker here really quick. <laughs> so Scott's at three and a half and Ben's at two and a half. Wait, why don't you reveal what it is before, you know, telling us the score, you know, the score. I would, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you. All right. Like, so. This one is <laughs> sweet, fruity, mellow. We got that. No, no. That's spicy. That's and a spicy sweet. and sweet. Oh. Yep. So this is cask G eight point one one sweet remedy. This is a thirty year wow Lowland whiskey in a refill uh, hogshead and then an ex bourbon barrel. What's the what's the this is, okay? Just so this, bourbon? This, no, this is canvas. Yeah. A bourbon barrel and a bourbon hogshead. Uh, what was the half a point I got? But it's the 30 year. Because uh, you said bourbon. You said bourbon hogs head. Mm. Yeah. So it's funny because so, the rum to me was just the tropical nature mm -hmm. of the, the whiskey. Yeah. And obviously you get that a lot of single grain. So that's what I was like, is it single yeah. grain and rum? Because then it would be. Yeah. That's what I said, though. If this is a grain whiskey, it's a lot older than what we had guessed, which I could see, especially with the tropical notes that's in there that you thought was the rum. Very nice. Yeah. This, wow. this was a tough one. This one's tough. I had to throw at least one really hard one in there. <laughs> What's the ABV? Uh, ABV on this is 61.2%. Yeah, see, it was so strong. That was, yeah, it's so strong. I was thinking it could be younger and punchier. and That's high. For, that is high for a 30-year-old, isn't it? Yeah. 60% plus still. Cool little whiskey. Wow. It's really nice. Yeah. There you go. Well done. Nice. Never drinking single grain again. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, like now knowing what it is, you go back and taste it, and you kind of like I just come at it so differently. It really kind of goes to show the power of suggestion. And um, yeah, and and Andrew Kelly said good guess on the grain bin, even though it wasn't for points. Yeah. And yeah. Taylor actually said excellent curveball, Jenna. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Excellent, random, complete randomness, blind curveball there. Yeah, I had to get one in there. And now green, right? Now we are going to, yes, green. Uh, 
And I can give you guys a clue on this one if you'd like. No. You, I don't think know if it would help you or not, but I would say don't tell us anything yet. Yeah, I'd rather not know. Anything. All right. <laughs> oh, I got it. I'm done. I know exactly what this is. <laughs> Jeez. He just he's playing a psych. He's trying to psych me out. No, I'm he's not. Trying to psych I, you I, out. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess this without even tasting it. What? There you go. You got we'll take you for your word on that one. Because the because eighty percent of your followers on Instagram voted for Team Scott and twenty percent voted for me. I have to air boldly. I, I feel <laughs> <laughs> damn bad. <laughs> ah. No, I will taste it, but I I'm done with my uh guess. Or my, maybe I'll change. All it. right. <laughs> Should probably taste. It. <laughs> You're gonna taste it and erase everything you just wrote. <laughs> the pressure. I can like feel the pressure through the screen. <laughs> I don't. I mean. This, another great one. I'm trying to figure out what's giving it away to him, what it is. But wow, I don't know anymore. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this one's. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody out there who could see what this whiskey is have this whiskey? Um, I'd be curious to know what your thoughts are on it um, because I have a lot of thoughts on this particular one. Um, so I'd love to know if you all out there happen to have this on your shelf and if you enjoy it. I and really Ernie want to. Like, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, go. No, I was going to say, Ernie says, go big or go home, Ben. Well played. <laughs> yeah, like I really had like a, I want to go with it in my instinct, you know, and not over, because you can like overthink us to death. And after my total mishap at the last round, the 12 year old finishing rum that turned out to be a 30 year old grain, like I just needed to start trusting my instinct. So I did that. But now I'm really having a um, opposing thought. <laughs> John McClement says, this is really fun to watch. Makes me feel much better about my swings and misses during blind tastings. Yeah, absolutely. And it is it is probably the most humbling thing you do in whiskey is a blind tasting. Um, I, I have a, a story about that, that my husband loves this particular bourbon. And I, I kind of give him shit for it um, when we have all this beautiful whiskey to drink. No, it's a, it's a great whiskey. But in a blind tasting... Um, I, it was in a blind tasting of like six whiskeys that I did and I ranked it number one. And when I found out what it is, I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Like, are you kidding me? That's it. And so blind tastings are incredibly difficult and humbling. So have fun with your whiskey. That's really, I think the, the important part of this is to just have fun with it. And Tom R. suggested that the loser shaves one eyebrow. <laughs> Good. Tom R., go to your rum room and... <laughs> I'm trying to think what my fifth category is here. Hold on just a second. I'll get... It. Oh, yeah. Um... Wow. Total guess. And Pickley Do said that he loves the blind tasting format in our tastings, in our in-person tastings, um, says that they're very educational. And yeah, that's why we love to do it, just to, you know, it's fun to be surprised sometimes. Oh, yeah, so much fun. Yeah, that's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> a great time. 3.5 to 2.5. What a score line. Can we, can, we look, can we look at bottles on our shelves for like numbers, things like that? Yeah, that's exactly where you're cheating because you get all the new bottles coming in. Yeah. This could be new, it could be old. Yeah. You just well, have like, either way, you're, you're both of those things. So I, I mean I just <laughs> uh, 
I'm not going to look just because, Ben, yours is way far behind you, and I know you can't read nothing from where you're at. So, this, I mean, my, my, I have no faith in my distillery guess here. I just, I'm complete. That's where I'm really torn. I have like between one, you know. And Warren says the loser sends the winner a bottle of the winner's choice from his collection. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then Taylor seconded that. Second it that. (laughs) (laughs) So. Oh, what do you got, Scott? (laughs) He's got all kinds of shit. Look behind him. (laughs) I'm reading right now, Ben. What WTF are you talking about? I don't know. What do you got? (laughs) Yeah, I'm losing. (laughs) (laughs) Port Allen's off the table. (laughs) <laughs> right. I'm ready. I got my five. I got my five. You ready? Ready? I'm ready? Water, then I'll just... Are you ready? Yeah. Go, you, you, it's your turn to go first, so you can go ahead. I, I wrote mine down. Uh, this was a toss up here. I did go with spicy and dry on this one, but I went second fill ex bourbon barrel. It's a Highland 12 year old and distillery 78, just because that was popping to the top of my mind on some spicy and dries we've had lately. I don't really get too much distillery 78 character, but I couldn't think of any others. Whoa. All right. So Highland distillery 78, second fill X bourbon and spicy and dry. And then uh, age 12 year. Whoa. I think everyone is different for me. Um, okay. Wow. I, I think I might be out of it or, <laughs> um, so I said, this is from Isla. Uh, oh. this is peated from a refill hogs. Now I'm really torn. Okay. Well, I, what I'm saying is refill hogs had 10 years. Did I conf- yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait. So Isla peated 10 year refill hogs head. Yes. From uh, Kalila. All right. But I, but it, yeah. Yeah. And you both opened the green sample. Yeah. No, we opened blue. Open blue. No, we're on green. Oh. Well, <laughs> didn't say that anywhere here. Okay. All right. We said green. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to log your guesses. For the next one, uh, good. Yeah, do that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we'll sw- yeah, just swap his answers. I got really okay. excited because I was like, "Oh, I got Scott in a moment of weakness." You know. Yeah. No, okay. Right. So, so like, when we when we go to the next one, do you guys want to do the opposite? So yeah, I'll, I'll go to blue. Ben can do green next time. Yeah. Okay, great. So, so, well, the, good, the good thing is everybody watching has the answers, so they can yeah. like at least know how on or off we were about those two. Yes. All right. So for Ben, let me, all right. So let me tally up some points here really quick. So we can't, ben, you, you wouldn't be able to tally Ben till the next round. Yeah. Don't, yeah, don't tell him to the next. Oh you yeah. Yeah. Only, that's right. And I can't tally, tally me on this one. I can't, I can't, ta- I can only tally well, you. Mm-hmm. The problem with this order is if what I just had is what it is, whatever I'm going to taste after this one. Is You'll give it away to the other person. So no, it's gotta, been totally difficult. To have whatever is a uh, oh well, yeah you can so we can't okay, like, like, so right what the answers are we have to go into the next one what? yeah we have to do the next one and then come back and then you tally the score yeah yeah can't, we have to go to the next one exactly yeah you can't review yeah yeah so okay so then Ben you go to we're doing three and four and... simultaneously basically yeah so you go to one. the green Ben and Scott goes to the blue got the blue it does say green on my paper by the way and I clearly just mix up the bottle or. That was a thing. That's okay. <laughs> People get nervous when they feel when they smell defeat. <laughs> These comments are hilarious. And I hey, rabbit! You. Rabbit! You smell that? I smell fear. <laughs> what was oh it you said? Gosh. Got spicy and dry Highland twelve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hog to, no, that's hard. Hard. I actually didn't even know it wasn't like log your answers because i was so like shocked that yeah we were that that was that <laughs> different once you said spicy and dry i was like wait oh my this is it this is my chance <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but that should I, be I, minus I, I point. Say I I think ben should get minus a point right there for out of order 
I, I'd leave it to Jenna to the only the only time in my life I've ever seen samples color coded and not numbered. You know, is this is like a. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <sighs> well, I agree with you on the flavor profile. That's for sure. <laughs> Could be power suggestion. No. Mm. <laughs> the thing is, we have had some really good examples lately, I think, of flavor profiles, especially juicy oak and vanilla, uh, the sweet, fruity, and mellow, even the spicy and dry. There's really been some good examples of those flavor profiles coming out. I have no idea what this is. This is this is like out of my uh this particular one, this uh <laughs> what is it I'm tasting right now? Green? You are tasting yes. green. And Scott is tasting blue. This green did you, one, did you write down it. did you write down my answers on the first one, Jenna? Yep, yep. I already got it. I got tallies for both of you guys. So so. I can I can erase it. I actually don't remember, Scott, what you what you um, said except for the spicy <laughs> dry. Mm. Uh, seriously, because I was so I kind of wish. I... Oh gosh. Hmm. Mm. Ooh. George Ooh. and Evan, I was too. That's all I can say. I was like, what? Uh, uh oh. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Chocolatey. No idea. <laughs> the fuck distillery is this? This could be any distillery in the world. I mean. They're saying that my hair should match the relevant bottle. We'll have to we'll have to see what flavor profile influences my next hair color. But uh, Sage Summer, currently I am drinking Cask 4.278 by the Beautiful Sea. That's what I have in my glass. I have literally no idea what this is. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> this is like, how annoying oh, is this? Like, I have everybody. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to be awesome, though, is that when we're done, you can go back and read it because they're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, oh, gosh. Oh. <sighs> That last one really did kill my palate. Like, <laughs> I can't really. This is uh, this one's so much more delicate. I sound like I'm making excuses, but really, it's just the reality of this. Um, we right. decided when we went into this to just pick a very random order um, because typically, when we do tastings, like for outcome preview tastings or um, any kind of bottle review, we go in a specific order, you know, for the reason of doing, you know, peated whiskeys at the end um, and ex bourbon in the beginning. Um, but this was completely random. We decided to keep it as, as random as possible because if I had put it into an order, um, it would have given some things away to these guys, and I am not trying to do that. So, <laughs> Dan Cleric, yeah, right? <laughs> Just to show you how like out of it I am with this one. I, I, I just guessed a region and then tried to choose a distillery and I realized the distillery's not even in that region. So <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, really, distill to me, distillery is a, just a complete well, and not a oh. complete yes. There's a small. Well, a point. Uh, I'm down it, one point right now. I need every point I can get. Well, you don't know what your score is currently. From yeah, you're only you, yeah. We haven't scored three and four yet, so we're getting ready. To yeah, play. so I I know what the score is that you've both tasted. Um, so you, you never know. I'm going to use my fuzzy pink pen here. All right. Well, I'm ready. Just, just let's air boldly. All right. Whose turn is it? I think it's Scott's turn. It's Ben's. It's Ben's uh, turn. I went ben, first, Scott. and then you were like, uh, I'm completely different. Um, hold on. Let me, let me. <laughs> let me I'll do Omer said. I'll go first while he's no, 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 right, no. Do I'm it. on blue, oh, which is the uh the fourth. Yep. It's peated and Isla. but I went with a 17 year ex bourbon hogshead distillery three. It felt a little bit older. We get a lot of 10 years off of Isla, and it just it yep. felt a little bit more aged, a little bit more barrel influenced. All right. So can you reveal that one? Or do you want me to? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, the or, or should, I, should, I, should I give my answers? Because it's technically the third one that I. Yeah. I botched this one. For the other one, I'm going. Spicy and dry. Okay. Space side. Okay. Nine years. Rechard Hogshead. Mm. America, so that's bourbon, bourbon wood. Um, Distillery. Akroisk. I don't think we've ever released something with those specs before. So, okay. <laughs> sure. hold, hold. you got to play the law of average. Hold, hold, hold the phone one minute. So, maybe we should do that one because I think that's number three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to do number three first. Right, sorry, everyone. Me, we'll, this up. Give, me, give me one second. Real quick, while Jen is uh, another sales pitch here, not a sales pitch, but Discord. If anybody wants, uh, we set up a Discord channel, SMWS America, uh, just for SMWS uh, members. Shoot myself or Jenna an email, scott at smwsa.com or jenna at smwsa.com. And uh, we'll verify your membership. We'll send you a link to join the Discord. Uh, really, it's going. There's about 50 members in there right now. It's going real good, and a lot of conversation happening. And it's really a nice uh, discussion board, really, for members to get in there and just chat about all things whiskey, not just SMWS. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to see what everyone's talking about and chime in on a few things. So, um, yeah, send us an email, and we'll make sure you're a current member and get you. Get you in the group. All right. Are you ready for this? Holy shit is all yeah. I have to say. Holy shit. So you want to review right. the Go back to number three. Let's score number yeah, three. Oh, yeah. Which all right. So number, number th three. Number three is the green one. The green one. Okay. Okay. Yep. And you both got the flavor profile. It is, in fact, the spicy and dry. Be, so you both get a point good. for that. Um, and um, it is a second fill ex bourbon barrel. So Scott, you get the point for um, the cask type on that. So Wait, well, I thought it. I thought we we're just saying no. It's just bourbon. I said. I know, but oh, I, yeah, so I bourbon. Actually, yeah, but he he said it. second fill ex bourbon. No, 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 no. Um, that's still, that's just, still one point each. Yeah, we yeah. Said, ex, yeah. So yeah. even though yours is a recharge hog set, we're just going to start. Yeah, we, we said we'd only split right. it up if it's two different types oh. of. Oh, no, rechard. You can't take re rechard has a totally different note. No. Yeah, I'm Scott. Kidding. So does like <laughs> everything else. But it's wood. All right. <laughs> it's an active cask. Whether it's a first fill that's or it's an totally, <laughs> That's totally fine. Um, <laughs> but so what's the age? On, I, okay, I have to just preface this. Re ben, you got everything correct. Oh, oh! <laughs> it is a. I'm sorry. You said um, 
you, you get the point for age. It's an eight year. Um, you said nine year, but uh, Scott said it was a 12 year. So you get the point for that. But uh, it is an eight year opera. Cask 95. Wow. 35, Look um, at the sleeper. Herbal See? bouquet. And this was one of my favorite whiskeys. I asked, I herbal bouquet. I actually, um, I actually bought an extra one of these because I loved it so much. And the ABV on this, do you guys want to guess that just for fun? Um, I um, bet it's hard, so it's hard now, but 60. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess 61 percent. What do you think, Scott? You got a 60, 60. you said 60. This is actually 66.3 percent. Yeah. We're warmed up. Whoa, <laughs> wow, wow, but yeah. So, well done, sir. But what's the cast type you said? Second fill ex bourbon barrel. Second fill barrel for, and you said it's eight years old. Eight yeah. years old. You said never nine, had that so one, you get yeah. the point. Yeah, this is, uh, I loved this whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think I should get the point since I completely nailed the cask type. That should be my point. Uh, remember when you said that the single grain whiskey was in a white wine <laughs> cask? <laughs> then again, I said it was a rum cask. <laughs> so, <laughs> So Scott got two points for that one, and then you got five. Wow! So, I know, a sleeper. like sleeper. the comments well, now, were like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> well, that, this could be short lived because now we have the other one to reveal right now too. So Ben's at seven point five, and Scott's at five point five. All right. I, I will. I will say in in thinking of that, the distillery was really tough. You know, I, I was leaning towards a Highland, and I think you start to think of the profile and trying to. You do start to think of. Well, technically, you know, we're, we're, the good thing about us oh, competing yeah. is that we're all behind the scenes with SMWS, so we do see the whiskeys more intimately. You know, and so I'm just I'm just kind of sharing how I got that because now I'm thinking like, oh, it's a little sus. You know, people might think, um, but I was <laughs> thinking we did see some younger uh, cast from that distillery. I don't know that necessarily that we saw a lot of young and sprightlies at one point. I don't, I don't, so I was kind of thrown off with the flavor profile because I was pretty convicted that was spicy and dry and then kind of a dive from there. But, but I'm just saying it wasn't like a totally blind, like, oh, it's this, this, this. It was a little bit of thought of like, what have we seen? But that's what Scott and I both know, you know, back of our minds. Yeah, you're good. That's yeah, a, a that's... great, great deduction. I would call it. Yeah, that was really awesome. So yeah, wow, congrats on that. All right, so yeah. shall we go to number four? Yeah, what yeah. is that? <laughs> so I will just say it was an even tie for the both of you on number four. Oh, um, what, did you, yeah, what did you say, Scott? I, I don't remember. I had 17, said, 17 year, oh, go ahead, Gina, sorry. Yeah, Scott said it was a peated Isla 17 year uh, Distillery three ex bourbon, and you said it was Isla Peated ten year fifty three um, Hogshead. Yeah, and I will say, Scott, to your point, like when I when I immediately noticed it, I was like, "This is what it is." And I what I shared, like my pick was what I uh, or my answers were what I my first impression. But I started to go in the direction that you did actually, because there's a lot of. Um, like Beaumore type of like mm. the sort of ripe orchard fruits. I get a lot of that on the palate with all the, you know, that spirit. So I started going that direction too, but I didn't, I didn't answer it. So we'll see what it is, but it's like. So it's funny. You both got the same points for the same things. So you both got the region correct. You both got the flavor profile correct. And the cask type on this is refill hogshead and X bourbon barrel. So I both gave you a point for that because you were both correct um, on oh, that. But this is a 19... Yeah, so this is a 19 year uh, cask, uh, 29.247, all hands on deck. Interesting. It really, that is wild because they transferred it to a first fill bourbon barrel, was it? Or what was the? Uh, it just says refill hogshead X bourbon um, barrel on that. So we're, so it's see not... what the time, the timeline is. I got, oh, a, oh, I got a definite yeah. iodine on it and I almost put 29 at first. And then I went with this, I couldn't think. That's got to be an older bottling because there's nothing recently that's come out from 29 that I'd had. So I went with the wait, what? Did, can I see that label? What is it? It says it says, it says refill hogshead slash. Yeah, I'm pulling it up too. Oops. Sorry, I don't know if you can see it. Uh... It says refill hogshead slash. Yeah, refill hogshead slash X bourbon. Oh, that's just a refill hogshead. 
Yeah, but it has that's two the, different cask types on it. No, 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 no. That's just that's just the ex bourbon hogshead. Mm, I'm gonna double check it. Yeah, yeah, because because in the old label, legally, um, you know, independent ballers only put the the final cask on the in the label, so we never put two casks on that old label. That's something mm. we started doing with the new label. So gotcha. it's an ex bourbon so hogshead, yeah, as opposed hogs. to like a sherry hogshead. Yeah. Refill hogshead on this one. So yeah. I guess in that case, I feel I it's the dumber. Point. I feel dumber now. Actually. I right. did have I had egg bourbon hogshead. So did I. Oh, you had hogshead too. Oh, you both did. So yeah, you both. Oh. you're good. All right, but we got the yeah. but, but we got the distillery and the age wrong. Is that right? You got you were we close. Did. To got the age and distillery wrong. Yes, you were close to this guy. I mean, you were within two. Right? I had seventeen year. Yeah, yeah. He said, yeah, he had seventeen. Yeah. So you both get an extra three points. So I should have stuck with my I, I should have stuck with my iodine note though with uh with uh twenty nine. That's so, man, that's such a trip. Because I know, like, there's only three points, but I'm so off because I thought it was a 10 year old Kalila and it's a 19 year old Lafroig. And those are such different whiskeys. <laughs> but, you know, I cast strength. It's like everything's strong. And, man. Yeah. yeah. And the ABV on this was 59.4%. So I love this whiskey very it's, much. It's really, really nice. Yeah. Really, really, really love that whiskey. Um, so yeah, I still don't. You're within three oh, three points of each other. Three points or two? It says, it says two. Three, right? yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, two. Yes, so Damn. two point difference. So the last one, we're we're at the the final the final sample, and this is the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> but what if we have a man in a tie? Oh gosh. I don't know. What do you think, Scott? If we end in the tie, what should we do? Shave an eyebrow? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I mean we don't have another we should have had I suppose you, for in case of a tie we would have had a six sample to to break it, but we don't. Um no, it's a tie. I'm, a tie. I'm confident that there won't be a tie. <laughs> what is that? Mean? <laughs> oh my gosh, Dan, you're right. Holy cow. So John Colling says you each shave half an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh gosh. You know, it's funny. I didn't take note of a... Uh... what everyone was this like the profiles of the actual I didn't, I didn't write down the actual answers so now i'm like okay oops joshua says you can rock paper scissor best of three there's a tie i would hate if this ended on a rock paper scissors <laughs> <laughs> Big Doc says that the, the, there will just have to be a rematch. And then I guess we can do ABV tie for if there's a. Well. Yeah. If there is a tie, we can guess the ABV on this last one. This is really nice too. Yeah. I remember when this whiskey came out. <laughs> Christopher Williams says the rematch is, is with all Glen Scotia bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, I'm ready. Wow. That's the same. Really kind of like a seductive aroma, you know, like it's, um, I, I don't want to give Scott any hints. Never mind. <laughs> it's, it's kind of awkward silence right now. I don't want to give you any hints. I'm already, I'm already done. I've written all my now. Heavy. Why are you looking behind you? I was scratching. I was just because he's two points down. Ouch. <laughs> Can we check your Instagram poll? How many people are on Team Scott right now? Let, let's just see. Uh, yeah, let me let me let me WS America. Let me take a, a look. So it looks like Scott is at seventy percent and Ben is at thirty percent out of twenty votes. I think I gained a few in the last round. That's it. <laughs> Fair. Man, that photo was brutal. You ready? Yep. Okay. I don't know who goes first on this one. I think you do, Scott. Is it you? All right, Scott, what you got? Definitely a dirtif. I've got double maturation, ex bourbon and ex oloroso, okay. but okay. Fourteen year Highland. Fourteen year Highland, okay. Distillery thirty five. Yes. All right, Ben, what you got? Oh man, that's a really good call. Shoot, that's a really good one. I mean, I, I oh. Oh, I see your paper. What are you? I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not changing yeah. anything. I'm just. I'm, I'm not gonna listen. Pen is away. So I guess 15 year Highland. Would you say Scott? For 14, 14 year Highland. 14. Okay, so we're close. We're close. But if someone gets it on the nail, then you get the point, right? The age. So 14 year wow. Highland. I put said sweet, fruity, and mellow. Okay. But I also said that the first one. The first one was deep rich and dry fruits. Uh, I think it's a two cast as well, but I put X bourbon okay. and then I think it's like some sort of French oak. So I put Sauterne just okay. prefer, you know, I feel like it's a white wine, but what the hell do I know? Um, okay. and I'm guessing like Loch Lomond Highland, you know, Loch Lomond is what I'm guessing. All right. Yeah. But the old, but when you said Oloroso, now I'm like really thinking about that. You know, I'm thinking, uh, you said it was a space side. Is that, is that what you put? No, I had Highland. You had, oh, you had Highland. Okay. What was the distillery? Both had high. What was the distillery? Both had yeah, Highland. 35. That's in space side, though. See, technicality. <laughs> <laughs> you did what I did earlier. Yeah. That. So you picked the space side distillery and said Highland. All right. Well, at least you know you can get all five. Space side is in Highland. Yeah. Prior to like 19, whatever, there's something. I, I, I'm trying to think of anyone in the chat. Knows. I can't even see the chat, but if anyone in the chat knows the actual year that they changed that. <laughs> I don't know. That's what. All right. What What do we got? Is it Tyler? Tyler? Hiding, or, she is hiding like, her uh, reaction here. I feel like we're tied. Yeah. This. Uh, all right. So you did not get the flavor profile correctly, either of you. Huh? It is, it is a juicy oak and vanilla. Okay. <laughs> all right. Whatever. Um, this but is cast. Like the cask wrong. Yeah, okay, both. so what would this the cast type is double maturation. It's ex oloroso and a new oak punchin. So would we consider that to be like bourbon? No. Oh, no, no. punchin would be sherry. Like sherry? That would sherry. be sherry. Okay. So yeah. Um that should be a half of so, point for Scott though, right? Because you did get you said he sherry. He did get oloroso. Yeah, he did. He got oloroso, actually. So what did you, what did you write on that on your answer scott for he, cask he wrote bourbon and oloroso yeah. so he gets half a point for that yeah uh -huh. all right so for sure all right so this is cask 41.127 mind that big ginger fay moffat and mm, this is a 13 sorry. year yep so scott gets a, a point for that uh for the age because he was a plus one on that um and it is a space side from jaluin so you yeah. get 1.5 points. 
I actually thought it was a 15 year, but I thought if I go with the 14 year, it gives me that more of that plus or minus one range. <laughs> so I got zero so points and you got 1.5. Ben, ben did not get any points on this, but Scott did get one and a half. So I lost by half a point. You lost by half a point. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, well done. That was impressive. <laughs> I can't believe that's juicy oak and vanilla profile. No way. Yeah, it is. It is. Can, you, can you mind touching the bottle again? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Rechard or Exoloroso butt. New oak punchin. New oak punchin. Huh. I've never seen a cast that originated in an Oloroso butt in the juicy oak and vanilla flavor profile. Right. Before. And so I remember when this this whiskey came out, we were all like, WTF? That's wild. Uh, Do you remember that, Scott? Hmm. I, this was pre Scott. I, was, I don't remember that at all. Uh -uh. Yeah. Really? This this was I think this uh Dan was it Dan Cleric or Adam? So this was one of your old man whiskeys in an outdoor preview taste. No, nah, it's really good. It's really good. I just yeah. I so I have it maybe. Well, you know the thing is that we also we had um, there was uh, there was a spicy and dry that came out January February time frame that had just been it was like a thirteen year had been. A, uh, exclusively matured in Oloroso butts. And then they'd put it in the spicy and dry profile. And it was like, it was, should have been dirt of, but this one is beautiful. But yeah, I got the Oloroso yeah. story on this one up front. I can't believe that's juicy oak and vanilla. Yeah. Well, the, the spicy and dry from the Oloroso butts, like we see those because if you can have a less active Oloroso butt, one that's been reused, a refill, you know, that's been used a couple of times. You'll still get some of the spicy notes from like the the nuttiness from the Oloroso, but the juicy oak and vanilla. That's like most of those are like first fill bourbon barrels from I know. Yeah, the from Space Outer Island. Like that's yeah. Uh, that's wild. That was one of those kind of wild casks. Yeah. Um Hey, I just turned on was... my comments and I gotta say yeah. <laughs> Sage Summer wins. Ben loses 0. 0.5 for going out of order, so it's a tie. I agree, Sage Summer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Scott's got like 20 more years of experience in life than me. So <laughs> if that's not a handicap, cause for a handicap, I don't know what it is. He's been eating and drinking. You can't make you can't make fun of me because of that. No, I'm not. It's called experience. It's not... I, I think you guys did incredibly well. Uh, this is not an easy task. And you both did a great job. So well done. What, what was our region on the last one? Space side. It was a space side. Yeah. So there were there were no uh, there were no Highland whiskeys in this. In wow. This matchup, in this lineup. Yeah. Pretty, I mean, that's good. Completely random, and um, that's what I mean. That's what we wanted. Hey, just randomly get five and send them out. Yeah, that's that's what that's what I did. And so um, Tyler says, "Love this format. More, please. You all are awesome." <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm it is. reading the comments now. I, I mean, I really missed. They're hilarious. I, it was. I forgot. I, I, every time we go live, like the only reason I ever, the only thing I want to do is talk to everybody in chat, and uh, like we couldn't do that this time. I had to like go through an hour plus of Scott kicking my ass until the end and embarrassing <laughs> myself by choosing the uh, tasting the wrong whiskey. Um, it is funny how it, it was kind of a lot. Scott, you were pretty consistent. Like you, I think I feel like you got a few of them every single time. Like you know what I mean. You were within. Yeah. I had I had one really strong round, and I got oh. I got five points, and I got zero points. You did, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, if you ask me, you got lucky with that Ock Royce guest, you know. But hey, oh, that's not luck. That's that's a, that's the, dude, but like <laughs> when that was happening, and like you said it, like all the comments are like, "Holy shit, Ben!" Oh. Like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh that was fun. I would say we were trying to figure out how many we should do. Five is probably the right number. I could yeah. keep going for like five more. Like I feel like we're just you know, warmed up. So for everybody in chat, so we're thinking about. I mean, I'd love to hear just comment real quick, just in response. Um, I told Scott I think we should do a Scott and Jenna, but but Scott because he's really kind of spends more time on YouTube. But we should do like a big tournament 
of a blind yeah. tasting tournament with all your favorite whiskey tubers oh. um, and really go ahead ahead because we've done a few like whiskey tuber battles on this channel uh, and, and, and Scott before you were part of the team you, like you were actually competing in one of them mm -hmm. too against the scotch test dummies for scotch four dummies that was a lot yeah. of fun uh -huh. then we did the bourbon junkies versus Jeremy Sires that was fun and so we're thinking maybe 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 we should do one uh, late summer early fall like a bracket style all the yeah. other whiskey tubers going head to head you know eight sixteen however many so what do you think about yeah. that or any other ideas you know you have that would be fun um man i'm just going i'm, I'm gonna read some of these comments later on but yeah um, <laughs> yeah it, it, is, it is funny you know like when you start to taste blind i mean i'm sure i hope for anybody like if you've done these at home it's it's fun i mean it's hard to do at home because it's like your home collection you know it but i was telling uh Scott and Jenna earlier, like my friend, our friend Roy Aquavite, like every time I'm over in Scotland and I see him, we always do this thing where, you know, we don't ever go up to the bar and order drams. Like we'll order drams for one another and then put them on the table blind and just try to see if the other person can try to guess it. It's so much more fun to do that. Harder to do when you're at home. Like, you know, your whiskey at home, right? Um, but it, it's like you get, once you get into like your own head about what something is, like the confirmation bias kicks in. And so there's, it's when you're trying to choose like between age and cask and everything, there's a lot of, like in my mind, there was a lot of things like people, Scott, you were talking shit about the Richard Hogshead, but there's a lot of like, it, it's all in, all in tandem with what I thought the age was. And, you know, and like that single grain one that was 30 years, I thought that was a 12 year old malt mm -hmm. with a bourbon or, or excuse me, or rum, rum finish. It was so tropical. And I was like, oh. I haven't had a you know thirty year old single grain that was that tropical, but maybe I have. So yeah, it's hard to. I'm sure you have tasted a lot of these whiskeys, you know, um, but it's it's hard to to remember them because even you know if it's a whiskey that you love on different days, it's going to taste different, you know. Um, so it's it's really hard to. It's it's difficult, but you guys crushed it. That was a lot of fun. So thanks everybody for. Uh, Hanging in there. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, Jenna, you think you're ready to go head to head next? Oh, shit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to send you all like the Armagnacs and I'm going to say, like, you know, here you go. Which region? What the... do you mean, Ben? You won. Like, be kind to me. Yeah. No, I know. I just, it was fun. You know, I say with, with blind tastings, you have to be humble and you have to be willing sure. to, to learn, really, because it does teach you a lot. And it, you have to rely on your taste buds, you know, and what yeah. you're getting. And really, sometimes it's first impression. But then sometimes it's, you know, it's not first impression. It's like with that grain whiskey, once you get it, like, okay, this could be a young one in a rum cask, or it could be an older grain whiskey. Which one is it? And that's kind of trying to suss that right. out. So, yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's the tough part when you do get in your head, um, mm -hmm. because... You know, a lot of times they say go with your gut, but you know, then once you get in your head, you second guess yourself and mm -hmm. it's, it's tough. Yep. I mean, like I'll, I'll claim the victory, but the point 0 0.5 difference between Scott and I is yep. like pretty much, it's the closest school <laughs> score to zero, it's a zero difference. You know what I mean? It's as close as it gets. Uh, it's <laughs> like, I feel like an OT win or like in hockey, like it was a penalty shootout, but, um, but it, I agree with you. It's so humbling and it really kind of just makes you think about how we judge uh whiskeys and sometimes judge others for having opinions of whiskeys because a lot of times i mean i've done this like pour whiskey for somebody they say they don't like they love it what if i pour it blind you know people who say i don't like scotch i only drink japanese whiskey mm -hmm. never, never mind that so much of it is actually scotch but you know what i mean you can pour something and totally change their minds and so maybe it just reminds you it, it's reminding me to you know just be open-minded about everything mm -hmm. absolutely yeah so, well, uh, congratulations, guys. Happy National Scotch Day to everybody out there. And remember, you got till midnight Pacific time to go use that $25 discount code, Scotch Day 2022. Yeah, best yeah. Scotch Day ever. I'm going to go uh, do what I normally do and, and blend all these together and yeah. have a nightcap. So, nice. Well, cheers, cheers guys. Jenna, thank you for putting it together. And I think uh, well executed and uh, a point, point 0.5%, I mean, or 0. 0.5 points is definitely closer than I thought we would. Super close. I thought one of us would definitely have be ahead of the other. Who? Yeah, I, 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 I did too. Uh, yeah.
Yeah, yeah it's very yeah. close. That's well, good. Well done, guys. Scott, I'll see you tomorrow with one eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> and remember. All right. <laughs> Scotch Malt Whiskey Society whiskeys are not for swigging, glugging, or knocking back. Please drink responsibly. Oh, but it is. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>